I'm actually so triggered by that. <laughs> I'm so triggered by that summary, f me. Trope number one, the death of the stoic man. Pick out any random selection of mainstream movies that are more than 10 or 15 years old and give them a watch. Now pay particular attention to the men in those movies. Watch how they act, how they communicate with each other, the pace and tone and tempo of their conversations. Watch how they carry themselves. Think about the subtle shifts of power and dominance as their scenes progress. The use of pauses and facial expressions and eye contact to clue the audience in on who's dictating the pace of the conversation. Do this and you'll probably begin to pick up on a few things, like the fact that men in older movies are generally able to convey a lot more by saying less. They're generally more reserved and project a kind of quiet confidence. They're less prone to big emotional outbursts or energetic displays of high strong verbal di- I feel like it depends on like the types of movies we're talking about too though, right? Because like some old movies had like really emotional scenes between men. There's probably like, um, I'm sure there's like a trend towards like different types of protagonists and stuff. I'm not gonna deny that. Although sometimes I really do wonder, I feel like if Good Will Hunting is a, first of all, Good Will Hunting is a, I'm sorry, I was gonna say a good movie. Good Will Hunting is an amazing movie. This is a very, very, very good movie, okay? Um, if you disagree, you're just wrong. I feel like if Good Will Hunting came out today, I, I feel like people would shit on it and call it like an SJW movie. Like, oh, like, you've got like, finally like a strong male character and the way that he connects is by crying like a little baby pussy bitch to a fucking loser therapist who quit his, was he in the military to do art or whatever and be a therapist? I don't remember if he was in the military, I don't think it was. He might have been. Like, I feel like that's, I feel like that's what people would say for this movie, if it was released today. Oh yeah, and then lefties would shit on it because it's an all white cast, true. <laughs> true. What are the top grossing movies of 2022? Fuck, hold on. Top Gun Maverick. Well, that's got a strong male lead. Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Oh, Wakanda Forever. Was that with all the women? I don't actually know who led on this one. I didn't watch this. Doctor Strange, I'm assuming that was like a white male lead. Avatar, blue lead. Jurassic War, fuck, I haven't watched so many of these. Oh, Batman was a white male guy. Thor was a white male dude. Spider-Man, was he black in that one? Or I think it was Spider-Verse. Oh, this was like three white dudes. And then Sonic. What race does he count? Oh, so there's like two blue people here, Avatar and Sonic. So it feels like that this, it feels like that a lot of this is still here. What he's looking for maybe, I don't know. I don't know, let's hear him out. They lack both the quick thinking and the belief in themselves needed to press their advantage and assert control over a situation. In functional terms, what you see on screen these days aren't really men in the normal sense. They're basically hyperactive, hyper emotional, hyper talkative children forced into men. Hyperactive, hyper, I just need like a month to like do a fucking video essay. Hyperactive, hyper emotional, like, it, it's been so long. Was that not the story of like Rambo One? Doesn't isn't he like a super fucking PTSD veteran who's like super mind fucked after coming back from Vietnam and shit, and he's like got like a ton of fucking problems dealing with it. Like, and I feel like these would be like the traditional masculine fucking men or whatever um, that people. I'm pretty sure he showed footage of like Rambo and stuff, or like Scarface or Taxi Driver. Yeah, I, I feel like. I feel like this is pretty, this is like a pretty common trend. Again, I'm not trying to say that like movies haven't changed. Obviously they have. I just, I feel like these, he literally breaks down crying at the end of Rambo. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. I, I feel like there's an argument in here, but he's, it feels like he's being very, very, very selective. I'm not sure, I don't know. ...and the belief in themselves needed to press their advantage and assert control over a situation. In functional terms, what you see on screen these days aren't really men in the normal sense. They're basically hyperactive, hyper-emotional, hyper-talkative children forced into men's bodies. They're a kind of shallow, trite projection of what insecure, effeminate, emotionally fragile Hollywood screenwriters imagine men to be, either because they dislike the idea of the masculine, stoic male archetype, or they lack the breadth of life experience to be able to write characters like that in the first place. There seems to be this weird... The breadth of life experience to write characters like that in the first place? Bro, what kind of characters are we talking about? Maybe it's... Movies also change over time. Like we write different stories, right? Like I don't know if you can just do the same character. We we're not gonna have like 150 years of cowboy spaghetti westerns or whatever, right? Like. Or how about Rocky Balboa, the ultimate underdog and symbol of scrappy, determined optimism? A man who fought his way to the top through sheer determination and willpower, taking down men bigger and stronger than himself through sheer refusal to give up. Then you get to something like Creed, where he's portrayed as a sad, lonely old man who's given up on life. A man who isn't even willing to go through life-saving cancer treatment because he just doesn't care about living anymore. Truly. Ah, uh, okay. I. Okay, I really like the Creed movie. That is such a dog shit summary of that movie. It makes me not take anything else this guy says seriously. Um, I could have fought a little bit on the Star Wars thing because technically Luke does have a redemption at the end, right? And he does it. He has a little moment. Against, but I didn't really like the Star Wars movies that much, so fuck it. Creed was a really good movie. Creed 1 was a really good movie. Um, did you watch Creed 3? Fuck no. Creed 2 is okay. Creed 1 just on his own is a good movie. This is such a horrible fucking summary of, um, of Creed. Fuck me men bigger and stronger than himself through sheer refusal to give up. Then you get to something like Creed, where he's portrayed as a sad, lonely old man who's given up on life. A man who isn't even willing to go through life-saving cancer treatment because he just doesn't care about living anymore. Truly inspiring stuff. Or Jean-Luc Picard, the culture- <sighs> fuck, fuck, I'm actually so triggered by that. <laughs> I'm so triggered by that. I'm so triggered by that summary, fuck me. 
Oh, 